In this video, we'll be using Civil 3D to create an alignment. If you'd like to see how we got to this point, go back and take a look at our videos on creating surfaces and using data shortcuts. Now there are two primary ways to create alignments. If you look on the Home tab in the Create Design panel, the Alignment drop-down. We're either going to create an alignment from objects, if you have existing polylines or lines and arcs, or if you're developing an entirely new alignment, you'd use the alignment creation tools. And I'll show you a little bit about each. In this drawing here, I have an XREF that already contains line work for the center line alignment of this road. So I'll go to the Home tab, Alignment from Objects. And as you look at my command line, you'll see that I can select lines, arcs, or polylines. Uh, because this polyline exists in an XREF, I have to choose the XREF option first. Then I'm able to select the center line polyline. I'll be prompted to choose a direction, and if I look around, I'll find an arrow showing me the direction that it's interpreting my alignment as. In this case, that's correct, so I'll hit Enter. If I wanted to reverse it, I would just hit R for reverse. So in this Create Alignments from Objects dialog, I'll give the alignment a name. Choose a type, which really has no effect on the functionality of the alignment, but really just a way to organize your alignments. Starting station. At the beginning of the alignment, what station am I at? And I'll give it a 100. You can put the alignment in a site, which you would do if you wanted it to affect some parcels in your drawing. That's pretty rarely used. Our alignment style is going to control the colors and appearances of the tangents and curves on the alignment. And I'll show you what a few of those different styles look like. And then the alignment label set is going to control tick marks and station labels. Typically I'm not going to add curves between tangents. If my incoming polyline or lines and arcs break tangency, that's something I'm going to want to know about and deal with and I don't really want the program to just automatically add curves. So you can see that this alignment was created in this drawing, labeled according to the label set that I chose. And if I look in the Prospector tab of Toolspace, I'll see under Alignments, Centerline Alignments, there's my main CL alignment. So let me take you back into the alignment properties and show you a few of the alignment styles. We're looking at proposed. If we look at an alignment style like layout, you'll notice that the extension lines from the tangents going to the PIs are displayed. And that style is going to control the layers and colors of the lines, curves, line extensions, etc. Now, the alignment labels that we chose are accessed most easily by selecting the alignment, right clicking and going to Edit Alignment Labels. With alignments, we're going to see two different kinds of labels. We're going to see these alignment labels that apply to the entire alignment. Typically, they're going to consist of ticks, station labels, and possibly geometry points. And the other type is going to be station offset labels. So you can build your own label setup by choosing the type and style at the top and adding those labels. But most templates also have it label sets created which have that work done for you already. So if I go to import label set I might choose major, minor, and geometry points. You can see that it's changed this bottom entry to geometry points. I can come over here and choose which geometry points I want to label. And you'll see that labels were added at the beginning of the alignment, critical stations along the curve, etc. The other situation that you're likely to find is the need to create an alignment from scratch. To do that, I'll go to the Home tab, Create Design Panel, go to Alignment Creation Tools. This should look familiar from the alignment we just created from objects. So I'll give it a name, starting station, style, and an alignment label set. After creating the alignment, what you'll get are the alignment creation tools, which allow you to create a new alignment by drawing in lines or tangents and curves. A typical workflow might be to lay out all the PIs, and 
and then come back and put in your curves. Once the alignments are created, there's really not much difference between an alignment created from objects and one created using the layout tools. A really useful tool for the alignment is once you've created it in this alignment creation tools toolbar to open the alignment grid view. And there you'll see a list that contains all the lines and curves in your alignment. You can see the radii, directions, lengths, and modify some of those values. Now the curve, first curve that I put in, I put in with a through point and the grips will allow me to modify that through point. But let's say I decided I wanted to control it via radius. In this panorama window, I can unlock that curve and then control it via radius. And in fact, the entire alignment can be controlled and modified via grips, and the program will work to maintain the tangency that was created with the alignment. So I can move PIs. change radiuses, and the same is true of the alignment that I created from objects. When I select it, I see very similar grips. I can move endpoints of lines, change radiuses, and the like. Now with existing alignments, you can get back to the alignment creation tools by selecting the alignment and going to the geometry editor, either on the ribbon or right-clicking and saying edit alignment geometry and that'll open the alignment layout tools for that alignment. Do confirm that you have the alignment you think you do, main CL, because when I move to another alignment and select it, you'll notice that the alignment layout tools change to the alignment that's selected, or rather most recently selected. And then I can go and add more curves or change the alignment as I see fit, including deleting subentities, and converting AutoCAD lines and arcs, as well as my standard curves and lines. And then a really common mistake I see amongst you new users is that if I want to go and modify this alignment, people have a tendency to go back to alignment, alignment creation tools and say, OK, I'm going to modify the layout alignment. What you're actually doing is creating a new alignment. So if you want to work on an existing alignment, don't go through the ribbon, create design but rather select the alignment and right click. In the next video, we'll take our main CL alignment and create an existing ground profile and a design profile to use when constructing our corridor.